Happy Wednesday evening. It's November 8th, 2023. Welcome to my weekly Stitch With Me, specifically featuring ornament stitching, but whatever you want to stitch is totally awesome. I first want to say if everyone can give your thoughts and prayers to Donna, who is having knee surgery tomorrow, I would appreciate it. Donna, I will be uh, praying for you and hope everything goes well tomorrow. It is so good to see so many of you here this evening. Hi, Sandy and Barbara and Sandra and Pat and Suki Scrap and Fox. Let's see. Hi, Kathy. Dell's here. Jeannie. And uh, Alicia or, is, you know what? I forgot. We talked about this last time. Is it Alicia or Alicia? <laughs> Shimon, Lori, so good to see so many of you here. Hi, Trisha and Rita. Hello, Sandy. So good to see you guys. So got bad news. I didn't stitch one lick of ornament stitching. I've hardly stitched at all, I, but I've been a sewing maniac. So I am ready to get some stitching done on some ornaments tonight. Hi, Lisa and Julie. Hi, Aura and Nan. So good to see so many of you here. So I am going to get my bag open and find my project because it has not even been out of the bag since um, I filmed Floss Tube. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, let's find my project. Oh, it looks exactly like it did last week. And my chart and my floss. What's everybody stitching tonight? Let me know. I have been sewing something. I have a new project bag tutorial. Yay! Uh, that I will be sharing probably next week. I will probably sneak peek it in Sunday's floss tube but the tutorial I am going to share it next week. So I'm super excited. No binding, no binding, no exposed seams and holiday specific. <laughs> Hi everybody. Grabbing supplies. Crystal, I just grabbed mine too. <laughs> mm. Going to your first retreat. That's awesome. <gasps> Oh, Jennifer, congratulations. That is so wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Oh, that's exciting. Hello, Michelle. It's so good to see you here. Signs of Christmas by Shannon Christine. Sign number four. Nice. Okay, I better try to... Do you guys really have to play WWE in here? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I wish my camera would show you. Little stinkers. All right. Where do you think I was? Oh, I remember. Hello, Liz Matthews, Santa Night Tree. Oh, Cindy, you're taking the class too. Wonderful. I have put some stitches in on that um, this week. That and my Wee Santa. But I'm actually getting ready to go out of town for the weekend, and I am going to be filming because I will be visiting a couple of shops. I'm very excited, so more on that after, after I filmed it. <laughs> Yay, you're working on last year's hot cocoa, Shimon said. That's awesome. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm very excited. I'll probably sh show a very, very tiny sneak peek tonight, but I don't want to answer tons and tons of questions until uh, I am ready to put my video up. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, I love it. So many fun things. Everybody is stitching. All right. We're going to see. I need... A mag I need a needle binder of some sort all 
All right. Is that one going to be, oh, that one's not going to be strong enough. Hold, please. <laughs> Should have just gone with the old strong one that I was going to use. I don't need one with two. All right. This ought to help me a little bit. There we go. Stitching all bundled up. What did Julie say? Cause some, cause Shimon says she's glad she's not alone. I've got to go back. Finish that. E oh, haven't, I think there's a lot of people who haven't finished it. Are you planning to use the Weeks Dye Works Cole for the Mary? I don't know. I have not thought that far ahead yet. Since I'm not even close to being up there, probably, but that might be a game time decision. I'm tempted to change it, but I'll have to let you know when I get closer. I'm kind of changing my colors as I go. That's what I'm doing with this guy. Let's see. I have to figure out where I'm at. And I also cannot see with my glasses. That doesn't make sense. I can't see with my glasses. Not up close anyway. Ripping out a row of quilt blocks I did wrong. Oh, Kathy, I hate when that happens. I did something dumb. Um, what was I sewing? I Oh, that's not right either. I was sewing something. What did I have to rip out? What was that? It was just completely, oh yeah, I needed to put some corners on one of my blocks and I just didn't. I just put the sides right on and I was like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? Where is the best place, best place to purchase linen cloth? Um, there's lots of different places. I get some from Fat Quarter Shop. I get some from, I get, I kind of get it here, there, and everywhere. Um, I like Kitten Stitcher. I like, sometimes I get some from 123 Stitch. Where else? You can get them. I don't know. It's more about the the color and brand. I get it all over the place. I don't know if there's a best. I did see that, Joanne, that Christmas collection from Classic Color Works. It's really pretty. I think that would be fun for if you're doing something like this where you can use that then to stitch all of your colors. Yeah, I can't see with, oh, good, good, Sandy, you and me both. My glasses are for distance, definitely not for up close. I have them on up close, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. When frogging red floss, what's the trick for getting all the red fuzz off the fabric? If you have one of those little floss fairy wands, I don't think I have one in here. Um, Let me go see if I can find one. Okay, so this is my little treasure case from Barbara. This is always next to my stitching except for when I'm in here. So it's got like all the things I use and then junk, um, lots of junk. Here we go. Um, a floss fairy wand kind of looks like, I don't know, like a little, mine has fuzz on it from cleaning. But after you rip it out, Take it on your fabric and do this. And these the little fibers here are going to pick up all those little red fibers or as much as possible anyway. Uh, I have been really happy, but this is what I use to clean up any little floss that you get. 
Stress eating a huge bowl of trick cereal, Donna said. <laughs> oh, yes, I feel that. Sandy, I, it's been a sewing week for me, too, so far. Kara, no, you're not late. I just got started. Not stitching yet. Hi, Karen. Karen is going with me on adventures this weekend. Or I'm going with her. Which way is that? I'm going with her. Oh, nice. Barbara says she picked up a 12-pack or a pack of 12 mascara wants boys. No. At a hair place. Nice. Oh, thank you. I was just thinking my nails, I got all my stuff out because nail salon is happening after this. Hey, stop. <sighs> I don't know why they always want to play in here. Hello, Shelly. Let's see. Is anyone stitching ornaments or are you just kind of stitching? Or how about this? Who is still stitching fall? Or are you just kind of doing a combination of fall and holiday? Or tell me all the things. I'm not quite ready to give up fall. I have I had so many things I wanted to stitch and I just did not get them all done. Kind of bummed. Stitching Christmas presents. Barbara, they're so cute. Oh, at least Odin is not, Odin barks, like he run. they chase after each other, but Odin barks and it is loud and it's kind of shrill. That's not cute. It is cute when they're doing this, but not really when I'm live. <laughs> Lisa's still stitching fall. Oh, you got to borrow the Philanthropic pumpkin, that's awesome. I really hope this is exactly like the other one because I'm not even looking at my chart. It looks like it. Oh, you know, I stitched the other house wrong. Well, that's okay. There was supposed to be a window. Oh, man. We're going to just stitch both of them wrong, is what I think we're going to do. So they match. I'm not ripping it out. Let's see. Sorry, I got distracted by I have stitched this wrong. Yep. Oh, going to a quilt show. How fun. I gotta say, this is not the easiest chart to stitch online. It's black and white. I should have picked a different chart. Or I should have finished this one so I could do a different chart. <laughs> Stitching a present for Dad. Oh, nice. All right. So if I am not going to do that, let's um, stitch them both wrong so that they match. So it's not obvious. Nail salon is happening at my house later tonight. Also, Kelly said, I have to say, it's the best thing about doing my nails at home is nail salon can happen in my PJs. Uh, I don't have to go anywhere. It's fantastic. And I can do it anytime I want to. So if I want to do it at 11 o'clock, I can. We're doing it before then. But let's see. 
stitching fall my sip and stitch patterns right now oh they're so cute I would like to get some of those going I have just a little bit of sewing thing things that I was working on and then I'm going to hopefully get some more fall stitched my birthday start I'm gonna start next week um, the hello autumn from Teresa Kogut I'm very excited about that I'm gonna cut my fabric down um, and zigzag my edges so that it's all ready to go two wrongs do make a right in stitching thank you that's my philosophy so the, what happened that is wrong is there's supposed to be a window in the middle of this house. I cannot believe no one noticed it because that house I think was done last week, which I did that off camera. I messed that up off of camera, <laughs> just like I always do. Um, but I didn't put one right above the door and I'm actually okay with that. It's tiny. I mean, who's going to know? All of you guys know, I guess. Anyone who watches this is going to know, but that is fine. I, I've taken a little creative licensing with this. Stitching. Oh, there we go. Gobble by Bent Creek. Oh, I like that one. And when I'm done, when that's done, it's all Christmas. Barbara said, nice. Okay, so what color? I'm thinking I'm going to do red for my nails, but you guys let me know. If you think that's a good idea or not, I think one, two, three. Okay, that's the door. Just making sure. Let's not make any other errors in this house. Prairie Schooler Santa, did you watch Fat Quarter Shop live this morning? I'm planning on doing some of those ornaments. Uh, I did watch it. Yeah, that was really cute and fun. Fun little tutorial. Oh, got your Crossfit's University kit, Mary said. Nice! Yeah, going to the salon is a lot. I loved it, but honestly, so my nail salon was 30 minutes from me, so 30 minutes there, 30 minutes home. I mean, I'm sure there would be one closer, just the girl I liked where she worked. So that was an hour, an hour to get my nails done, nails done. And she, as much as I like her, she was always late. So it took like two and a half hours. And really, who's got time for two and a half hours? <laughs> I have cut my um, nail salon time down by a lot. Although my poor nail, I need some cuticle oil there, don't I? Let's see, stitching Stephen King house for my oldest son's Christmas. Cynthia, I have seen a couple of floss tubers stitching that. That is really fun. What a cool present. I like that. Hi, Christine. Oh, my goodness. Why are you doing WrestleMania, boys? Go do it somewhere else. Do my own dip nails now so I can do them when I have time, Kathy said. Oh, fun. My boy says you should do a shiny red and green. He is actually watching your floss tube. Oh, how funny. You know, that would be kind of cute to do like an accent nail in green and do all red. I may give it a try. I haven't ventured into doing anything cute yet. I'm finally catching a live. Hello, Carrie. Yes. Oh, doing the Erica Art ornaments. They are so cute, Sue. Hey, 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 hey. That is really cute. Go, go find Ethan. Oh, my goodness. Ordered four yards of 28 count Lugana to dye. Oh, nice, Sandy. What color are you going to dye it? All different colors, I'm assuming. But I'm curious. Curious slash nosy. Let's see. Yes, Sue. I have I have seen those Erica Art ones. 
I'm back to thinking about that. In fact, I was just watching a video of hers. I think her uh, fall quilt parade. I've been a fan of hers for years. I like that she has some cross stitch stuff now. Let's see, skip a couple. Oops, maybe stay in camera. So I really, really, really plan on having this guy done and moving on to another one before I see you guys next week. That's the plan. Love her bags too. Yes, I do too. So I see some of you are stitching Christmas presents like the Stephen King house for your son I saw. Is anyone else have a big Christmas present that you're stitching? Mostly tea and coffee dye is what Sandy is dying. Some pinks, teals, and evening blues. That's awesome, Sandy. Oh, Susan, so happy you're here too. I'm not stitching any presents this year. I may stitch an ornament or two, um, but I don't think I'm gonna stitch anything big this year. I've waited too long for one thing. Made several of Erica's bags. They're great. The squishy tote is one of my favorites, Allison said. Oh, nice. Stitching Lugana, and now when I go back to my old Ada, it feels so much harder, Carrie said. You do kind of get used to the softness of the fabric. So Ada then does feel kind of hard. But, you know, I have also found with Ada, the more you hold it in your hand and you work with it and you stitch, it softens up. Oh my goodness, Donna, that's awesome. Made a queen size quilt that is almost finished for son and daughter-in-law. Oh, Donna, that sounds amazing. Stitching the monthly Shannon Christine for parents, Vanessa says. Stitching two police officers prayer flags for her. my two sons, Kathy said. Oh, Kathy, that is awesome. I love that. Let's see, two of the Nora Corbett letters are done except for the beads and back stitch of wings and start the other one on Sunday, Sandy said. Doing Star Wars ornament for my friend made her a Darth Vader last year, Baby Yoda this year. Oh my gosh, that sounds adorable. Sandy has five ornaments kitted and three almost finished. Oh my gosh, look at you go, Sandy. That is amazing. I am really kind of irritated with myself for missing that window. so funny. Stitching Houses of the Month by Erica Art for my mom. Abby said, oh, nice. Crocheting Mom and Aff again, Nan said. Uh, Oki Stitches. Not stitching presents, but I'm trying to finish up Jack's Bash. Nice. I didn't get mine started. As always, my eyes are it's kind of like with food, you know, when you're little and your parents are like, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. And I think I've said that to my children too. Don't take so much. Yeah, that's me in the cross stitch. I think I'm going to have all this time to get it done. And not so much. I have a quilt started for my daughter and soon to be son-in-law. Not sure if I'll get it done by Christmas or not. Yep, I completely cut out a quilt for my daughter. I actually cut out three quilts last weekend, so hopefully I will get them sewn. 
but they it may not be for this year. Oh, awesome, Sandy. Thank you. This does not feel like I'm... Oh, no, it's right. Phew. Thought I was messing up. Oh, Sandy wants to know where the Baby Yoda pattern, cross-stitch pattern came from. Uh, Shimon. Donna finished one crocheted afghan for a Christmas gift, working on a second. Lovely. Working on uh, crochet a go-go nativity too. Hope to finish this weekend. Gulf Coast Crafter says, oh yeah, I like that one too. Some of the best nativities that I've seen, both of theirs. I'm a little picky. I actually have the first one kitted up, so, oops, that's not right. Even ordered the ornament box. Wow, you did go all in. Okay. Yes, I really did mess up. Not bad, though. You'll be glad to have them, Sandy. It's nice to have the things when you're ready to finish instead of having to go find them, I think. Yep, I stitched it wrong. Oh, I stitched the other one wrong. Thank you. I did stitch the whole thing wrong. I'm telling you what, this is not my favorite stitch to do on camera. That's okay. I need to get this guy done so I can do something else. Tonight's going to be a rip-out kind of night. Got two punch art patterns by Teresa Kogut. Oh, those are so fun. I like that. Ugh. And now I ruined my thread. So my heart might not be in this tonight. Dang it. The frogging is real. Let me get this ripped out so that I can get a new strand of floss. What tool are you using to frog? Jeanette said. It's the it's the Lori Holt one. Fat Quarter Shop has it. It's called the Unpicker. Had to think about that for a minute. I like it because it, obviously it's a little bit wider than a needle. And so I feel like I'm not going to um, bend my needle when I'm frogging something. I can stop stitching and show the puppies. Franklin, where are you? Are you under the table? Probably. Probably. He got to go for a little ride with us earlier, which he thought was super fun. Bought some of those cute... Oh, no. Come back. 
Bought some of those cute mini frames from Hobby Lobby. Can you re recommend a place or designer that does tiny little patterns that will fit two inches in diameter? Um, uh, there's some little charts from Fat Quarter Shop, but I don't know how big they are. What I like to do with those is I usually try to find a chart that has something tiny in it, and then I will just stitch a tiny portion of the chart that will fit in there, um, like a little Santa or a bunny. And if you stitch on higher like higher counts of fabric, like a 36 or 40, then you have a lot more options for what will fit. But if you're stitching on you know, 14 or 28 or 32 or 16, um, just pick a port, like a small portion of, of a chart, just something tiny. Let's see. Oh, and Sue says the Erica arts are two inches. Thank you so much. Unstitcher. That's what that's called. Did I call it the unpicker? It's the unstitcher. Kathy, can we just talk about those adorable reindeer ornaments you made waiting for my die to come? Well, sure, what do we want to talk about? <laughs> I had a lot of fun making those. Oh, Kathy has another suggestion for tiny charts. Um, Shannon Christine has tiny postage stamps, she says. All right, we're going to get a new strand of floss and it's going to just be new. Start over. Barbara, I was thinking about that. Uh, she says the free ones from Lawn Fawn might fit that size and I think you might be right. Uh, Lawn Fawn is a paper crafting company, but uh, Shari Moss, my friend, she also, she works for them, but she designs little charts that fit within one of the dies. And they are really teeny tiny. Those would be cute too. Thank you for that suggestion, Barbara. Some of the heart and hand charts have small motifs. That's a good suggestion. Oh, thank you, Allison. I had fun making those. Let's start from the top. I'm not a quitter. We're going to get this figured out. I think I'm just a little out of practice stitching. I did stitch for a tiny bit first thing this morning, which felt nice. I forced myself to forced myself. You know how sometimes you could sit there and you can maybe not do anything. And I was like, just stitch. And then once I got into it, then I really didn't want to stop and work, but I needed to. Sandy has another great suggestion. Oh, not that one, Nicole. For the small motifs, the nine patch from Primrose Cottage. Wow, if I get this house stitched correctly, it's going to be a miracle. Lots and lots of good suggestions. Thank you, guys. Yep, Little House Needleworks has lots of small ones. Country Cottage Needleworks has lots of small ones. I've actually done one from one of those. Depending on your fabric count, you can pick a lot of great small images. I 
don't think I've ever picked up anything specifically, like tiny, tiny. I usually just pull something from a bigger chart to fit. Okay, I think maybe I finally got over my mistake. Frank, what are you doing? Come here. You want to say hi to everybody? Come here, Frank. Odin is crashed. He's taking a nap now. And I think Frank is too. I, I want him to come here so I can show you. His hair is growing out and he is so cute. He's so ornery too. Come here, buddy. Come here. You cheat? I'll have to go get you one then. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get out from under there, you little stinker. Okay. Is our my baby here let's show you big why are you being so silly this is my Franklin baby look right here don't look scared are you a good boy did you do something bad is that why you're hiding <laughs> he's like don't give me love Odin do you want to come say hi to everybody Come here. You're a good boy. Well, Frank, you had your chance. And here's my Odin. How do I smell? Look right here. Look right here. That's a good boy. Okay. There are my boys. <laughs> They're so spoiled. Frank's like, I think you told me you'd give me a treat. That was if you came voluntarily. <laughs> yes, they're so, they're my babies. They're so ridiculous though. I'm and spoiled. Wouldn't be the same without toy squeaking. Chris said yes. <laughs> Oh, nice. So Ebreak says she's going to be stitching the littles on 32 count linen. Oh, yes, that's perfect. That's a nice little start. Oh, Crystal said her pup's staring at the TV at them. That's so funny. Probably thinking, let's play. Oh, yep, now we have a toy. I disrupted the, the sleeping, so now it's playtime. This is generally their playtime. Oh, yep. He thinks someone's here. I'll tell you what, I'm having a lot of issues tonight. Now I have a knot. <laughs> uh, is the prim Yes, this is the Primrose Cottage sweatshirt. I didn't know if I would get it or not, but then when they said that they were going to do re red, um, I was like, oh, yes, please. I'm all in. Red's my favorite. Oh, my gosh. Sandy started her first 46-count linen. Oh, how nice. 
Thank you so much, Del. Yeah, who else got the Primrose Cottage Christmas sweatshirt? And then if you got it, tell me if you got red or green. I really wanted both, but I went with red. I don't need both. Donna says she got hers the other day. Donna, what color did you get? Maybe before I get too far down here. Eh, nope, too late. We'll have to come back. No, um, yeah. Red, yes, yay. I really like the quality of these. Some places I don't love the quality as much, like they're not the super soft, but I love it. Sharon, you did what I wanted to do. She got both. Let's see, Beatrice got red, Carrie got green, Connie got red, Penny got red. Hello, got the green since I already have a red Christmas top, Kathy said. Well, that's a good reason, yes. Question, can you think of a linen that would be close in color to the one you're stitching on? Not off the top of my head. Um, not off the top of my head. In, really, any kind of neutral would be as long as it has a little bit of color to it. It can't be too terrible light. I would have to think on it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sweatshirts in San Diego, probably not compatible. I was already done. Good grief. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just done. <laughs> I'm done. This isn't going well. So I'm just going to see what you guys are talking about while I unpick yet again. It's like I've never stitched before. Raw Natural by Zweigart. That's a good suggestion. I just don't know what color looks like this. Um, I may have to ask one of my friends that knows a lot of different linens. I don't. Um... I mean, I know some, but I don't know one that looks exactly like this. I will see if I can um, look around a little bit. Oh, no. Okay. Another row of windows, not a whole solid row. Witchelt Natural, Lisa said. That's why I wouldn't know. I don't like witch alt, so um, I'm not sure what that one looks like. I have stitched one thing on witch alt, and I really like how it turned out, but I did not like stitching it. When you stitch a, a, a bead, do you worry about the knot coming through the hole? Oh, a dead bead. Yes, I do. I have done that, and I thought it was going to be fine, and it's not. I would definitely use a sequin to help hold it in place. If you're not stitching uh, over one of the pre-die cut holes on the felt, then I think you should be fine. But yeah. Oh my gosh, I just cannot for the life of me. You know, some nights you just shouldn't stitch. I think this might be one of them. Haven't had one of these in a while, but I am not stitching anything correctly. Lisa, that color might be okay. I have some somewhere. I do have a, well, nope, that's really brown. I have this one sitting here. This is Oaken. By picture this plus. Oops, you can't see it because that's in the way. Okay, so this is Overcast by Color and Cotton. That is Oaken by picture this plus. I have that one laying here. I do have some of the gray. Hold up. 
I was working on something. Here is gray. It, it did used to be called Confederate gray, which I don't think that this one is like it at all, at least not the one I have. Oaken is pretty, pretty close, not too bad. Um, let me see what else, if I have anything else right here. Not so much. It is hard, Kitty. That's why I don't like Witchelt. Uh, Old Linen by XJU is lovely, but I'm partial to their colors. Old Linen is going to be really dark. It's going to be way, way darker than this. That's what I'm stitching my Santa's uh, stitch on for the Jingle Ball. Yeah, I think Oaken would be a really good one. Oh yeah, Barbara, I know. I'm like everything I'm doing is wrong. That's why I decided to go um <laughs> I I thought I would search my my linen for one that looks like this. I like Oaken. So to me, I think Oaken would be good because I think it's still um it's not too dark, but I think it's dark enough that your whites are going to show up on it. Let me see. I'm going to look and see if I have anything else that's semi-close. I don't think this one is, but we'll look at it. Uh, this is Rin by Picture This Plus. And it's not too bad either. It's a little bit lighter. I would say Oaken by Picture This Plus. That would be what I would say. Yeah, I like XJU Linen too. Okay, let me see. Are you using Oaken for the Candy Cane Biscornu? No, I don't think so. I'm using Oaken for something, but I can't think of what it is at the moment. I think it's a Brenda Gervais chart that I have it for. I think anything I have at least, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but um, it has more modeling to it. This has quite, has more than you think. Let's turn that off. I like Oaken. Yeah, I think Oaken is going to be, it, now keep in mind, I don't have that much linen. I mean, I have some, but not like tons and tons of this color, like this color. I'll do some research. If I, if I find something, I'll let you know. Let's see. Lisa says she uses Oaken a lot. Um, I actually don't think I have used this one before and I picked it up for something and then I ended up not using it for that and um then happy coincidence it's what is called for for a Brenda Gervais chart so I know that's what I have it for what what it's in my little stack <laughs> sorry I'm such a horrible stitcher tonight <laughs> That's okay though. Hopefully everybody else is getting their stitching. Sometimes it's just hard to stitch and it's really hard to stitch like this. I see a snowman. Oh, where did you see it? Oh, on the other corner of this, yes. I actually stitched him a couple weeks ago. This guy. This is the Brenda Gervais uh, Holiday Hoopla Christmas. And I'm just stitching them on this. I'm stitching several on this fabric. It was a good one. It works for a lot of different things. So I just started this in the other corner. Let's see. 
Speaking of Jingle Ball and Linen, I signed up for Kathy's class but didn't get the kit. Any suggest suggestions if I can't find 28 count antique white cashel? Um, I think any sort of white would be fine. I'm still frogging, Daniel said. Okay, so it's not just me. That's not good. <laughs> I was hoping it was just me. Lisa said samplers look great on Oaken. Um, I have not got, I did buy the kit, but I haven't got it yet. So I don't know if it comes with the fabric or not, to be honest. Um, I'm guessing it does, but maybe not. Bought 28, eight count white cashel from 123 Stitch, but Fat Quarter Shop had it, Lisa said. Good to know. Got dental work done this afternoon, so I'm enjoying and hanging out. Carrie, I'm sorry. That's the worst, but I'm glad you can just hang out and enjoy. I gave up stitching 39 minutes ago. Chat is too fun tonight. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know what my deal is. That's ridiculous. Um... I have no idea. I'm not good with the other fabrics that if I don't know. I don't use a lot of white either. I'm a little nervous about using the white for that class, to be honest, because that is not my go-to. But I better be finding out if we get the fabric or not. Let's see. Can you list those cloths? Yes. Let me make a little note. So that I don't forget to do that. And then an antique white I'm also going to ask Jessica on that. Um, Jessica is the best with the fabrics. Like she'll, she knows a lot of them. So I may ask her and see if she can give me a suggestion. Okay. I wrote down all of those to add. Let's see. And I'm going to start finishing ornaments too. I need to finish my snowman and I actually have a Teresa Kogut that I need to finish. Some nights I'm removing knots more than I stitch. Lisa, that is the truth. Um, I'm going to see where else you can get that and... Yes. The knots, that was me on Sunday, Lisa said. Oh, that's no good. Okay, I'm going to give you a tiny sneak peek of my bag since you guys are here and also since my stitching was a bust tonight. Again, the, I will do a tutorial next week, but this is going to be my new... The snowman is not my pattern. So you would have to buy the snowman, but I'm going to share how to take a quilt block and turn it into a project bag like this. No binding, it is quilted and no exposed seams. So uh, that is gonna be my new bag tutorial. And it's just, I'm gonna show you, this is a sweet water pattern. So you may have it, I've had it for a long, long time. Um, and I decided I wanted to try to make a project bag out of it. So I'll share some little tips of adding extra fabric and making it all work out. But that is going to be my new tutorial, binding free, but I, st and um, also I used batting rather than soft and stable. Oh yeah, that's the back. And I had lots of fun making it. So um, that will come out next week. <laughs> so 
So hopefully if you want to make a project bag for, um, for maybe the next sale or whatever, you can. Nail polish name. I use Dazzle Dry. That's what I've been using. I don't know what this color is called. I could tell you for sure. It's green something, green sparkle. <laughs> it has a cute, cute much, much cuter name um, than that. But I use Dazzle Dry and that's what I've been using. Oh, you got the elf feet from Burlap, Burlap and Blossoms to try. Oh, Chris, that'll be so cute. Barbara says, I have several quilt blocks waiting for this. Yay. What size is the bag? Uh, whatever size it ended up. I think... <laughs> It's approximately like 11, hold on. This wasn't a super specific size bag, about 11 and a half by 12. 11 and a half by 12 is what it ended up. So I did see those today, the Stitchy Shaker ornaments, super fun. What zippers do you use? These are by Annie zippers. No binding is a win for sure. <laughs> the Jingle Ball HOD kit includes the linen. Amanda, thank you for coming in clutch. So I didn't go buy any because I was going to go look because I thought, oh crud, did I really not buy any and I'm going to have to have some? Let's see. I will have all supplies uh, listed when I share the tutorial. Anyway, so I'm going to switch my camera back. Let's see. Has Is anyone going to make those shaker ornaments from Fat Quarter Shop's tutorial that was on this morning? It was a really fun idea. I liked it because it was something a little different than what I've seen before. So that's really fun. Let's see. Okay, everybody. I think, do you know if there are any... What's ITH? I don't know what that stands for. I'm sorry. What linen for the hands-on design stitch, Vanessa asks. 28 count antique white cashel linen. I want to know what ITH stands for before I go, because I'm not sure what that is. Oh, in the hoop, huh? Do you know if there are any hoop pro project bags? I don't. In the hoop for project bags. I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Donna Mer says machine embroidery in the hood, embroidery garden in the hoop. Machine embroidery in the hoop, embroidery garden. I think I'm just slow tonight. I'm really, really tired. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I think I have answered everything. I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek. That tutorial will come next week. I am out of town for the weekend. So, um, yeah, so I will have that ready for you guys next week. I've been filming, but I have to finish editing it when I get home. I am going to some fun places, so I will be sure to take lots of video so I can share with you guys later on. I hope you all have a wonderful stitchy week. I am hoping to get some stitching time in. Hopefully it's a little bit more successful than tonight. And I hope everyone has a great rest of your week and weekend. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. 
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new floss tube stitching or quilting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.